How do we bring our true value to our clients, to our customers? How do we present that? And I say there's three foundational ways that will strengthen us and make that easier. One is we've got to know our numbers. And that's in a video, a couple of videos ago. The last video I just did was about how to show courage and, and the reasons for that. And basically the fears we have to overcome. Now I want to talk about bringing self-confidence. And self-confidence is inside us, okay? And it makes me wonder, what contributes to our self-confidence? So a couple of things come to mind. One is expertise and knowledge, especially as we're looking at self-confidence in, in the context of, I want to be self-confident in the area of my business, okay? And what is that business? You know, if it's a service, a product, both, you know, whatever that is. Um, my growth and expertise, my growth in knowledge, that's going to make me more self-confident. Another area is my experience. So as I gain an experience, that's going to strengthen me and my self-confidence. My track record, how have I done? It's going to contribute to my confidence. So this is a belief in ourselves. Now, here's something that I think we're all very guilty of. And it's like, yeah, but, and we're looking down the path. We're looking way down the road and we're saying, I'm really not that self-confident. So if I said, okay, so how self-confident are you? Scale of one to 10, okay? You might answer that, well, I'm not that self-confident, so I'll give myself a three or a four because there's so much more I need to know. There's so much more I need to experience. Um, well, I'm only a green apple. I need to be a red apple. So I'm not confident like a red apple. I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> if you're a green apple, are you 100% confident as a green apple? Well, sure. Okay, so let me change the analogy because well, I used apples before. Um, but let me go to the engineer because we can all imagine there's levels of engineers. And let's say you're a level one engineer. Okay, how confident are you in your abilities as a level one engineer? Are you 100%? You're like, well, no, because I, there's so much more I need to. No, no, no. Just as a level one engineer. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't have the knowledge, you don't have the expertise, you don't have the experience, you don't even have the track record of a level two or level three. But let's imagine a level five engineer, okay? Let's say you become a level five engineer, but you only have the self-confidence of a level one engineer. You're never gonna present your true value, ever. Because you don't have the confidence, never mind the fact that you might be a darn good level five engineer. Is this making sense? Think of it this way. If I'm sitting here at 100%, as a level one engineer of self-confidence, but as a level five, I'm just, I'm a hundred percent level one engineer. I really only have the 20% self-confidence of a level five engineer. If I'm a level five engineer and I'm a hundred percent confident as that level five engineer, I'm 500% more confident than I was when I was a level one engineer. So there's this, what I'm trying to show here is there's a growth that occurs. Okay. And, we're constantly growing. And so our confidence should be growing. But what I'm asking, what I'm suggesting here is, but in the moment we're at, I'm a 25 year old entrepreneur. I'm not a 35 year old entrepreneur. I'm not a 50 year old entrepreneur. I'm a 25 year old entrepreneur. Am I confident? Am I a hundred percent confident? Because we're not talking about your mastery of the knowledge. We're not talking about your depth of experience. We're not talking about your, the success or failure of your track record. What we're talking about is your confidence. Those are all contributing factors to it. And if your confidence is a hundred percent, you are much more likely to bring your true value to your client. That's where we're going with this. Now, can you be content with that? You're like, well, no, I want to be better than that. No, no, no. Hang on. Can I be content in knowing I am a level one engineer right now? I'm not a level two engineer. I'm a level one engineer. I'm not a level five. I'm a level one. Are you content? And see, that's key to zeroing in on being a hundred percent confident as a level one engineer. I'm a 25 year old entrepreneur. I'm content with that. I get it. I understand. I'm, I'm not a 35 year old entrepreneur. I'm a 25 year old entrepreneur. I'm content in that. Now, content isn't complacency. 
Content is, is a removal of, of some of the drivenness or striving. And what we're about, remember, we're bringing self-confidence so that we present our true value. Okay? So, I want to, I want you to think about this. And I want you to look at yourself and go, because I'm using extremes ones and fives, but for most of us, we're in the middle of our levels. And I wrote a book called The Next Level Entrepreneur. And so as entrepreneurs, what I, what I set out is that there's levels to where we're headed and there's always a next level, but you have to be content in the level you're at. And it doesn't mean you're complacent and that you're not trying to get to another level. It doesn't mean that you cut off learning more knowledge or gaining experience or continuing to have a, a developing a track record. So there's sort of a, so what I'm saying is this is going to, you're going to need to noodle on this a little bit. Okay. Because it sounds contradictory in, in what I'm actually getting at it, but it's not. Um, and where I'm headed with this is so does success or lack of success, does failure affect your self-confidence? Are those connected or not? And I'm going to explore that more in the next video. But let me just give you a teaser. They're not. They're not connected. So be thinking about, well, why is that? And we'll see you on the next video.